Hello everyone, in this video I will be giving a brief introduction to differential equations. So a differential equation, uh, which we may abbreviate DE, is any equation involving a function and one or more of its derivatives. So let's look at a few examples. So here notice that all of these involve a function, whether we call it y or f of x in the last example, and we see an equation, equal sign in all of these guys, and derivatives, right? It can be the first derivative, it can be the second derivative, you can see both of them show up. You could even see higher order derivatives, right? I could have like the 64th derivative involved if I wanted to. So all of these are examples. Here are a couple of non-examples. So f of x equals 5 is definitely an equation, but it does not involve a derivative, right? So that's a no. And this other one is simply not an equation, right? It involves a second derivative, which is good, but not an equation. So this is not a differential equation. So if we have an equation, we should have a solution, right? So what is a solution to a differential equation? Well, let's take a look at a somewhat simple one. Okay, so if we have the example y prime equals 2. So here, a solution is a function y satisfying this equation y prime equals 2. So you want to think, what function has derivative 2? Well, if we have constant slope everywhere, this should be a line, right? So line of slope 2, y equals 2x is a solution. However, it is not the only solution, right? Because any, slope, uh, any line of slope 2 will do. So we could take y equals 2x plus 1, 2x plus 2, 2x plus 3, 2x minus 1. Doesn't have to be an integer there, right? Basically, y equals 2x plus c, where c is any real number or any constant, would work. So the difference here is a singular solution is called a particular solution. And this would be called a general solution. Right, it gives you a family of solutions and kind of describes all of them at once. So let's look at a different kind of example here. So, so here is something that is not easy to solve. This is not as simple as taking an antiderivative. Um, so what I want you to do is just verify that this is actually a solution. So I'm already giving the, the function y and we just want to see that it satisfies this equation. So in that case, we should really look at both sides and see if they're equal. So let's first analyze dy dt. So we do the chain rule here, right? The 5 comes down, and e to the 5t stays the same because e to the u is itself when taking the derivative. So 5 times 10 is 50. So we get 50 e to the 5t, uh, and 3 fifths is a constant, so that's it. Okay, then we look at 5y minus 3. So if you see 5y, well, we should be plugging in that y above. So 5 times 10e to the 5t plus 3 fifths minus 3. Go ahead and distribute. We get 50e to the 5t plus 3 minus 3. And so, lo and behold, we get the same thing either way. And this means we have indeed verified, right? This is equal to this. So it satisfies that equation. Thus, this y is a solution to the differential equation. OK, so for your first exercise, I want you to find a general solution. So this should include like all the possible solutions to the differential equation uh, y double prime equals 4. So next, I want to briefly talk about initial value problems. So these are cases where you actually know a value of your function at a certain point, and therefore, know exactly which solution you care about. So let's look back to that simple example of y prime is 2. So we said in that case that all of our solutions look like 2x plus some constant. So if you think graphically, what is going on there? Well, we're basically saying, right, take the line of slope 2, and then it's all of the lines parallel to y equals 2x, right? And you would just have all of these guys. So here, if I add an initial value, some point on the graph, I know y of 0 is, say, 3, for instance. Then I look over here, and I see, OK, this is y equals 2x, OK, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. And so if I have 
just this last point, I know 0, 3 is a point on my graph, then I'm specifically on the line y equals 2x plus 3. And so if I have this initial condition, I know exactly which solution I care about. And so this would be a solution to the initial value problem where y prime is 2 and y of 0 is 3. So let's look at another example. So here we're going to have s of t be our function that we care about, and it will be position. So in that case, the derivative here would be velocity. And so what if you see the differential equation s prime of t is 2t squared plus t, and you know you're starting from a distance traveled of 0, or like your initial position, we would say, is 0. So this would be an initial value problem, or an IVP. And we can find s here, right? Like we, we know it is going to have this derivative. So if we want to think, how do we get to t squared? It should be some sort of cubic, right? So we should have uh, t cubed here. And then what makes the right constant? So if we want 2 to come out after we multiply down by 3 with the power rule, we should have 2 thirds here, right? 2 thirds times 3 is going to be 2. And then we'll reduce this power to 2. And then similarly, right, this should be a t squared to get us to t. Uh, but this would make 2t, and so we want to multiply by 1 half to get t. And then we could add any constant we wanted. But we know that s of 0 is 0. But s of 0 is also, well, if we plug in 0, what do we get? We get 0 plus 0 plus c. These are equal, so c is 0. And so our solution in this case would be uh, 2 thirds t cubed plus 1 half t squared. And so for your second exercise, I want you to find a function f of x satisfying the differential equation f prime of x is 1 over x, and with the initial value f of e equals 2. Thank you for watching.